What's going on, guys, and welcome to episode 15 here today in hashtag GSM for GM in my GM mode in WWE 2K22. We are mere days away from the SummerSlam pay-per-view that I have stacked on my side. I don't know about Raw. I'm sure they're going to get 20 fucking stars because they did the same matches every week. I know that's how you get higher ratings. I don't care. I care more about, st I, I care more about storytelling personally. And after what we talked about last week, we have a sexy-ass show lined up for SummerSlam. Again, this is the go-home show. And all of my feuds aren't even culminating on Sunday either. I have like seven different feuds going on right now. But going on on Sunday. So we'll, this is the card for tonight. We'll get into it in a moment. We're doing Candice versus Sasha too. Candice lost to Sasha in their initial outing a few weeks ago. Sasha got revenge by beating her. Or no, Sasha beat uh, Candice in their initial outing. Candice got a revenge. I must have loved revenge. Um, she got revenge in the tag team match last week. So... That's going on Sunday. Tegan and Dakota one more time on Sunday as well. That's going to be some sort of extreme rules match. Um, Edge versus Keith Lee because Keith beat Edge a week or two ago in singles action. So he's earned himself a universal championship opportunity. Tyler Bate versus Roman Reigns, the rubber match. And John Cena versus AJ Styles inside Hell in a Cell. So we got a sexy ass show lined up for SummerSlam tonight, though. We got a big card as well. Tony Storm versus Bailey. Head of next week's, hopefully, if we can do it next week, the women's tag team title matchup, Bailey and Natalia versus Tony and Dakota. Sasha Banks calling out Candice LeRae for a rematch on Sunday. Kevin Owens taking on Ricochet, the newly turned heel Ricochet. And we're probably only going to be able to watch this match, by the way, because all the other ones have uh, interference. But Kevin Owens taking on Ricochet with a run in from Seth Rollins. Um, Dakota Kai calling out Tegan Knox. She wants one more match with Dakota, or rather with Tegan on Sunday. Roman Reigns versus uh, Tyler Bates' buddy, Trent Seven, with a run-in from Tyler. Edge calling out Keith Lee after Keith Lee beat Edge, and Edge wants revenge. And Keith says, listen, I'll give you your rematch as long as I get a uh, Universal Championship match on Sunday. And our main event, a grudge match, tables match, John Cena versus Cedric Alexander after Cedric cost Cena uh, the tag team win last week on the show with a run-in from AJ Styles. Um, show logistics, we already booked this all last week. Pretty standard stuff. Um, I am using a couple power cards. I forgot what I did. You'd have to go back to the end. You'd have to go back to the end of last week's episode to uh, figure that out, because I honestly don't remember. Uh, journal, Sasha Banks is getting her next fight against Rhea Ripley, or wouldn't be against the next Rhea Ripley. Her next fight would not be against Rhea Ripley, which it will not be. Um, I told Natalia this week that she'd get to partner with Bailey, but fucking Natalia is not on the show, so I'm just I just don't have access to her, so I can't give it to her anyway. Um, the rest of the stuff is pretty standard stuff as well. So that's SmackDown in a nutshell. I'm also considering for SummerSlam on next week's episode watching all the matches because, like I said, as you could probably tell, I'm very excited about our SummerSlam card. So I'm considering doing a like two part, three part, you know, episode. 16 of the show and not 16 17 18 but just breaking it up into multiple parts i don't think these episodes can be any longer than 60 minutes they're roughly around 30 each week that i record them but um i don't think they can be longer than 60 if i record on the gameplay here on the ps4 so we'll see i am considering doing that uh watching all the matches because i think it's going to be a great show anyway uh let's get right into it i think we're good to go here book this show and let's get into it. Confirm booking again. Like I said, we can only watch the opener because the other ones have run-ins in it. So we're going to have to watch Tony versus Bailey. No real stakes, but a preview of next week's uh, WWE Women's Tag Team title matchup. And we don't have to watch any of the matches here on the show, but I thought it would make it more worthwhile here for these episodes because all we do is really book. We don't really get a chance to watch the matches unless I watch one, which I usually do. And that's what we're doing this week, so... Um, I don't think I'll do much interference like any run-ins with the pay-per-view matches. I might for a few. So maybe we won't watch the whole show. Because I feel like with Sasha and Candice, Rhea is the SmackDown Women's Champion. She's been aligned with Candice to a certain extent. It might make more sense to, um, you know, have Rhea Ripley interfere. And if so, we can't watch the match. So here comes Tony. I think she's she's one half of the Tag Team Champions. I, You could probably see the belt not here, but here comes Bailey. Well, she was okay, once. Let's get through this. 
not a. Uh, I'm thinking it's just a championship match, and we're just missing the, uh, the title being held up, but it's not. Again, like I said, Tony Storm is one half of the women's tag team champions. She and Dakota, after Dakota's done with uh, Tegan, they will defend the women's tag team titles against Bailey and Natalia on next week's show, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, as long as Dakota's not hurt or whatever, if she's not hurt, and they lose next week, it would create an excuse and out for her losing, so that would make sense. Bailey on offense early on. Tony, re, uh, Tony retaliating here. With a nice suplex. And no, Bailey gets out of it. Ooh, nice suplex from Bailey. Bailey was out of action for a little bit. She was injured. I gave her some time off to rehab some injuries. She was hurt. And then I just had her off the show for like an entire month or so because I had nothing for her to do. But her and Natalia wanted to team up. I think that makes sense within the storyline that we're telling. And uh, here we are. Tony goes for the pin. Quick, not even a one count. Just quickly kicks out. Suplex from Tony. Ooh. What you can do, I can do better. What's Tony going for here? Oh, she's really right to the top rope. Ooh. The AEW Interim Women's World Champion misses on that diving elbow there, which I guess is not canon in my universe. Oh, another nice suplex. This is fucking Suplex City here today. Tony getting back into it. Ooh, nice knee to the face of Bailey. We watched um, last week Dakota versus Tegan Extreme Rules match, and it was a great fucking match for as long as it lasted. It was not very long at all, but it was a great little sprint. So if you missed, to go back and check that out. One of my favorite matches we've watched so far here in these games or in these uh, on these episodes. Bailey back on offense, taking the punches to Tony. Jesus Christ. What you going for here? Little She's Irish whip into the corner. The corner All right, what are we going for? Suplex? Another su- Oh, belly to belly! Oh, belly to belly, I mean. From the top rope. That might be enough. Two. Oh, and Tony kicks out at two. Wow. That was great that she hit that from the top rope. Very cool. Not enough to put Tony away, though. Tony might get back into this. Let's see. Oh my God! He's clubbing her chest. Jesus Christ! This is brutal. Oh Jesus Christ! Tony goes face first to the outside. Oh my God! Right to the knee of Tony. I think she missed though. Backstabber. So what are we going for now? Right into the ring steps. Tony sends Bailey. Tony might be able to get back into this and win it. We'll see. She can uh, weaken Bailey some now. She's got to get back into the ring. Bailey's got to get back in the ring. Here we are. Tony taking too much time fucking showboating. Is that going to cost her? And I think it may have. The Rose plan. You absolute moron, Tony Storm. Why would you do that? Oh, no. A rope break. Tony's getting lucky here. I feel like she's going to hit another finisher on her. That honestly probably would have been it. That's two finishers for Bailey on top on, on, on Tony. What you going for now? Oh! The Senton connects. Beautifully executed. This has got to be it. The knee. Okay. Whips her down. I was going to say, is she going to pin her on a fucking knee whip? Okay, she's showboating and doing the dumb diva pose and now now pinning her very random. That might be it. Two. Well, that's a very fucking underwhelming finish. Holy shit. For all the finishers she had in that match, she went on a fucking knee lift or something. Punched her, showboated, taunted, and that was it. Well, that's pretty dumb. Well, Bailey winning does give them an advantage going into the tag team title match next week. So at least there is that. Bailey is a former SmackDown Women's Champion, so disappointing match. Yeah, there's not much of a fucking feud there. I'm not surprised. It was with Natalia. Natalia's not here right now. It's not my fault. All right, let's boost this feud. Excellent promo effect uh, from Sasha calling out Candice. Where we're gonna gonna have another match on Sunday. Uh, Kevin Owens versus Ricochet, who is now a heel with a run-in from Seth Rollins, who goes over. Kevin Owens silences Ricochet. Mediocre match, but I, you know, it's a decent feud progression, I would think. 
Dakota calls out Tegan. Excellent promo. Roman Reigns versus Trent Seven with a run in from Tyler Bate. Roman Reigns puts down one half of Mustache Mountain mediocre match, but the rivalry grows between Roman and Tyler B. Um, Edge versus, uh, or calling out rather, Keith Lee ahead of Sunday's matchup. Excellent promo. Rivalry grows. And John Cena versus Cedric Alexander. Would love to watch this. It's a tables match main event, but we have a run from AJ, so therefore we cannot. Who wins? John Cena takes out Cedric, which means no interference. In, uh, wow, we have a really bad show. That was a lousy show as far as star ratings go. Um, no interference from Cedric on Sunday. I guess that can be the retroactive st stipulation. Cedric cannot get involved in the Hell in the Cell match. Uh, Drew versus John again. These two are beat the shit if you look at their health. WWE title match. Drew McIntyre is the champion. Amazing match because why the fuck would it not be? It's 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 Raw doing the same shit as always. Okay, match from Tam okay promo from Tamina. Hogan beats Bischoff again. Woo, the fucking suspense. Who gives a shit? Whitney Quaid self-promo. Okay, again, who cares? Humberto Carrillo and Mace for the millionth fucking time. And it's going to be like an amazing match. Watch. Okay, well, I'm surprised. Ivar self-promo. Excellent. Kushida and Big E versus Marcel Bartel and Santos. I thought he was feuding with Goldberg was Escobar, but I guess not. Um, Escobar and Bartel win. Amazing match. How? I have no fucking clue. Can't tell me. I have no idea. They killed us this week. Wow, we had a lousy week. And that's a shame because I thought this week's uh I thought this week's SmackDown was good. We got nineteen thousand fans. That is just awful. That is terrible. Looking at the show notes real quick. Well, we did make a hundred and nineteen thousand dollars. That's good. Uh looking at the show notes, seeing as such a natural tables matches, need to see this more often. Uh, let's see. Unexpected ending to Kevin Owens Ricochet. Doubt Owens. So Owens won by DQ? So is that how it works? If we have a run in, that person wins by DQ? I don't understand that. I mean, I would love to know because I feel like sometimes if they run in, they, they help them win, or I don't understand. Holy crap, AJ Styles just blindsided John Cena. I would love to watch this shit and, and see it play out in real time. Um... Hmm. Cedric says, crowd distracted me and John Cena took advantage. So desperate, you're all pathetic. So John Cena finally snapped that losing streak. Maybe he's turned the corner. Hey, we'll find that on Sunday. He's like fucking 0-2 against AJ Styles. Uh, we went double cost. Uh, all right, we might use that. We, yeah, I was already going to use the one I already had. Might have to use the other one. 40,000 fans. Yeah, they fucking whipped us this week. Less seen of this shit, the better. That is awful. That is terrible. And I'm expecting, like, a good pay-per-view, but you know it's going to be... They're going to kill us. All right, looking at the uh, notes here, Rhea Ripley says, Hey, my contract at SmackDown is up at the end of the week. I'd be interested in staying, and the cost would be 51 k Yeah, that's fine. Sounds good, Rhea. I mean, she's the champion. It makes sense. Great. Looking forward to staying with SmackDown. Thank you, Rhea. You haven't scheduled any championship title fights in a while. They're a useful way to get the audience cheering. Opener and main event matches are particularly good candidates to receive a ratings boost for having a belt on the line. Thank you, Triple H. I'm well aware. Just remember that title fights will affect your SmackDown stamina, or superstar stamina, rather, more than regular fights will. You will have to balance getting the crowd fired up against the risk of burning your top stars out before pay-per-view shows. Apollo Crews is all mad at me. He says, I've had enough crap working at SmackDown. has been a complete joke, he says. The only way you can convince me to stay is with a $100,000 bonus. Otherwise, I'm ready to walk out right now. Well, was, dude, like I said, I've got nothing for Apollo. I'm sorry. I wish I was doing more with him, but I just, I really probably should not have hired him. He's only been here for a month. Uh, sorry, no. Walk out, buddy. Sorry. I figured as much goodbye then. All right, see ya. Uh, Natalia said, boss, what happened to booking Bailey and me as a tag team? You were fucking out! We waited weeks and didn't even get a word from you. Disappointed. Doesn't begin to describe how much that stings. I thought I could... Oh, shut the fuck up. You came over to my show injured, first of all. And then you randomly disappear without any explanation whatsoever. Natalia is becoming a pain in the ass on my fucking show. If your fucking morale decreases, I don't give a shit. Um, anyway, new logistics available. Advertisement. Commercial campaign. All right. 
unlock commercial campaign. Um, that should help the show. All right, we'll we'll go back to this in a second. Um, power card. We are using that for sure this week. Oh, that's ugly. Um, completed. Completed. I think I said I we failed that. We failed that one. Oops. Promised Jeff Hardy a rematch. Don't care. Um, that's happening this week. Right. Ow. So look at this show. Look at this is going to be a sexy show. I'm feeling. Still going to get whipped by Raw. I am sure. Branded pay-per-view bonus. Hmm. Grab the object hanging above the win uh, above the ring to win. I'm thinking we should do Hell in the Cell. I mean, branded pay per view bonus. We can we we should probably do a TLC match. Um, Hell in the Cell. I'm, I'm thinking for John Cena and AJ though. That should probably be the main event. That's like our biggest match. Um, so let's do that. Match type Hell in the Cell. John Cena, AJ Styles, no interference. Um, let's see, mid-card, Tegan and Dakota. I'm thinking, by the way, we should probably do the opener. We'll make it a regular match for now, but Keith Lee and our Edge and Keith Lee. Uh, title match, yes. Interference, yes. Jeff on Edge, because they're kind of been feuding for a while. So Jeff is back this week. Maybe he'll cost Edge the title. We might make that a TLC match. We will see, because I, I should probably do a TLC match. We will likely do it with um, the women, though. Dakota and Tegan. Let's make it a TLC match. Uh, their stamina is high, so the fact that the stamina high is, is for the match, and like it'll take a toll, and their stamina is fine. Um, interference. Hmm. Interference, yes or no? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no interference. All right. Let's do that. So the women will go on there. We have our title match there. Um, we will do Candice and Sasha. Interference, yes. We will do that. Boom, boom. So we can't watch those anyway. We can't watch these two matches. Maybe we'll watch these three. We'll see. Or just the main event. I'm not really sure yet. Um, and then what was the other match? Rollins and Owens we will save. Oh, uh, Roman and Tyler. Let's make that an Extreme Rules match. This is going to be a great match, I feel. All right, Interference, no. Um, that's good. So those are our five matches. Self, oh, let's do Call Out. Kevin Owens calls out Seth Rollins because Rollins called out Owens originally. Um, we will do that match probably on SmackDown next week. Ricochet. Um, let's see. What were we going to do? Let's go. Natalia Bailey. She's feuding with Tony. So let's see. Well, wasn't there another? Oh, we were doing the tag team title match next week, right? Yeah, that was the other match. So Natalia is back. She calls out Tony Storm. Or maybe we'll have Tony call out, uh, let's see. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But her promos are better, so let's do that. Promo. Um, or call out, Owen, or Rollins is being called out by Kevin Owens. Ricochet will do a self-promo. I'm feeling. We might have to put him in the first promo spot, but let's see, uh, Let's see how this works out. And then Riddle is also free, not doing anything. You know, maybe let, let's do this. We'll do another call-out. I apologize, but let's have him call out Riddle. Because they used to be partners, and he's heel now, and he's pissed that they're no longer champions. He blames Riddle, so he calls them out, and they'll have a match on SmackDown next week. That makes sense to me. Riddle ain't doing shit. Um, the Paulo Cruz left. I mean, who could possibly give a shit? Cedric up, taken out. Um, let's see. His popularity's up, actually. I feel like we should probably just give him the night off because he lost to Cena. Let's give him the night off. Um, Bailey. Is Bailey free? Yeah, Bailey's free. Let's do self promo. And she will you know, help with her morale. Alright, that makes sense. 
All right, wow. This is going to be a sexy show, I'm thinking. Uh, we'll, run, we'll run down the card in a second. Uh, we're going to be at the SummerSlam Arena. Uh, veteran crew. Boom. We'll do that. Wow, we're spending $240,000 on this show. We better make that back with a lot of fucking money. Holy shit. I mean, that's also because of the Extreme Rules matches, too. 30000 35000 20000 I mean, it makes sense. This is... Oh, the 2000 because it's a title match, I guess. Oh, that's not a title match, and that's still 2000 Um, Free agents. Ooh, Samoa Joe. I probably shouldn't go too crazy with the free agents because Apollo just left because I had nothing for him to do. Uh, there's Indy. Indy's available. I haven't signed anyone in a while. It's probably for the better, because we don't have anyone to... We don't have, a. <laughs> you know, we probably, uh, shouldn't be signing people. Oh, it's back to popularity. You got Jimmy. Again, Jimmy's not really any of any use if you don't have Jay. Uh, for the tag title situation. Our tag titles are completely fucking useless, by the way. AJ and Cedric are champions, but I just haven't really defended them much. Same thing with the women's titles. Samoa Joe, 41000 a week for 10 weeks. Or I, get, I have to pay 41000 and I get to use them for 10 weeks. You know what? Yeah. You know what? I'm thinking of... Well, why the fuck? Well, he's permanent. That's why he's 130. I was going to say, what the fuck? Hmm... Indy could be of some use. Her and Tegan might make a good team. Let's let's get out of here real quick. Looking at the legends real quick. Got some good legends on here. What the fuck is? I mean, I guess I understand why the Hurricane is a legend, but still, it's kind of a joke. He's up there with uh, Steve Austin and Brett the Hitman Hart, you know. Um. I'm just thinking. Do we sign Joe? And put him... So, we gotta think, too. Like, what are these people co doing coming out of this show? We gotta think about that, too. AJ is one half of the tag team champions, but... I don't know. This is tough. Do we have Joe in, like, styles? I don't want to say a line. But I feel like Joe... Joe debuting in the main event of SummerSlam... Well, I want to watch the match, too. That's the problem. That's the issue here, because if I bring in Joe and have him interfere, then I can't watch the match. We, we, I really want to watch this match. I want to watch all three of these matches, actually. Hmm. I'm not sure, man. Not really sure. We'll probably wait to sign Joe. I won't sign him, like... Do I sign him, like, tonight? And then have him debut on SmackDown? I mean, we'll probably just have to do that. Let's do that. Let's sign Joe. We'll sign Joe, and then we'll start having him feud with Cena coming out of it. We won't have him interfere, but he'll cut a promo tonight, and then um, he'll cut a promo tonight, and then he'll face Cena on SmackDown next week. I like that. I think he can be a real asset to our show, especially since Apollo Crews served no fucking purpose. Uh, sign this talent. Yeah, let's sign him. All right, so that will change some stuff up. Um, let's clear this promo. Clear this promo. Ricochet will call out... We're going to have a lot of call-outs on the show. But he'll call out Riddle. That'll keep those two busy. And we are also going to have Samoa Joe call out John Cena. How many weeks? Four weeks remaining on his deal. All right. All right, so we're going to do that. We already did all this. Power cards. Um, Let's see. Double cost. Double the cost of an opposing brand's matches for the week. Yes, we are fucking doing that. Wait for next... I hope that's this week, but I don't know. We'll see. We will do this one as well. Health Spa, send the Choosing Superstar to a top star, blah, 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 blah. Oh, 
Hmm. Her stamina is like 36. Um, let's see, 95, 59, Rollins ain't on the show, so let's, 60, 59, she needs to fucking, she's like beyond her, alright, let's, let's see something here, also health spa, 59, 80, alright, let's check this out. Alright, everything's still the same. If they're being called out, then they're still technically on the show, but not really. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we are good. That's going to be our show for next week. I'm very much looking forward to it. SummerSlam is going to be sexy. Um, what I think we're going to do is watch these last three matches. So, it's going to be Edge defending his Universal Championship against Keith Lee with a run-in from Jeff Hardy. Ricochet calling out Matt Riddle. You know, insert pay-per-view music here, by the way, for me to run down. Sasha Banks versus Candice T with a run-in from Rhea Ripley again. Samoa Joe calling out John Cena. Roman Reigns versus Tyler Bate. Uh, I think this is three in an Extreme Rules match. Tony Storm versus uh, Nat or calling out Natalia. Had the uh, tag team title match on Friday. Dakota Kai versus Tegan Knox in a TLC match. Kevin Owens versus, uh, or rather, calling out Seth Rollins. And John Cena versus AJ Styles one more time. Hell in a cell. So it's going to be a sexy show, guys. I'm excited for you guys to come along for the ride next week here on hashtag GSM for GM. Until then, guys, have an awesome one, and I'll catch your ass down the road.